Alright, I'm here today with Michael Drake. We are on the Plus One Gaming channel. And he just won our local tournament right after the Dimension of Chaos release. And he was playing... Magic Specters. Magic Specters. Alright, so you want to go ahead and get into the deck profile. Uh, so for Magic Specters, I play one unicorn. Um, you don't need any more than this, I don't think. Um, it's pretty good sometimes, not in the mirror match. It's terrible in the mirror match. But I think only one is fine. Um, next I play two, Magic Specter Crow Yada. Uh, he searches the spell card, the quick play spell card. Uh, it's not the best in the world. The quick play spell card isn't the best, but you kind of need him just for the deck at the moment. Um, then I play two, Magic Specter Cat Nico Mata. Uh, at end phase it searches. It's really good when you set up your play with Pegasus turn one. Um, you basically do your search. You basically do your search. And then um, activate Pegasus, tribute the other Magic Specter monster for him in defense. And then at end phase, you get a search. So, so he's it's pretty much to make up for the inconsistent. Like just having the one, uh, yeah, it's the pretty, one raccoon. It's yeah. practically a coon for end phase. Yeah. Okay. Um, next, I play triple Magic Specter Fox. Uh, this guy's really good. He searches my counter trap and, can and he searches my one of Magic Specter Tornado. He. Uh, I always want to see him as fast as possible. So you, you would agree that he's like one of the he's best. He's definitely, at the moment, he is definitely a three the best of, okay. Yeah. Um, next I play three of the card. Magic Specter Raccoon, the one everybody can't find. Uh, <laughs> he is an absolute must. He's basically Stratus of the deck. He searches whatever I want when I need it. If I need a two scale, if I need a five scale, he's there. He's a better cat. Yeah. Um, the next uh, I play uh, Double Archmane Eccentric. Uh, he's really good for uh, floodgate outs, and also uh, he's a pendulum scale seven, so I can pendulum summon unicorn. Um, the next I play three luster pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Uh, he is really good for the wombo combo. If you open him and raccoon, or him and fox, he basically is like free pluses. Um, the next, the what I play with the deck is performage engine, so I play triple performage plush fire. Um, he's really good with the Wombo combo. You can open Luster Pendulum and Plush Fire to get like a free special summon. You can go off that way. Oh, basically. so you go Luster Pendulum. You go Luster Pendulum, pop, pop the Plush search Fire. Search another and one, and then you get the, per the uh, Plush Fire effect. Yeah, okay. you search him and then get an effect. Um, then I play Double Damage Juggler. Um, I kind of want to play three of this. It's really good in the mirror match when they're playing Wavering Eyes. It's also. Um, Really good at searching out plush fire if I need a scale five. Um, I play one trick clown and one hat tricker. Basically, you know what these do. Um, now, how before you go on to the uh, you're going on to the spells now. Mm -hmm. Before you go on to the spells, how did the uh, the performage engine actually work for you today? Um, I used the performage engine to push basically uh, to give you more of like to for Xyz plays. Yeah, it's more for Xyz playing. It's more to like push to my opponent. I use the Magic Specters to get all my stuff and then I basically use the Perform Mages to like go off on my opponent. Okay. Um, next are the spells. I play one Regeki. Um, it's not good in the mirror match, but I think it's really good at the moment. Once people start playing more Pendulums, I don't think it's, uh, it's not going to be because they're all just going to be able to come back because yeah. they'll go to the face of the extra deck. Yeah. Um, then I play two of the field spell Majesty's Pegasus. Why not three? Um, I only play Clogs. two. Um, I want to see it, but that's why I play the two terraformings. Um, I do always want to try to see this as much as possible, but I couldn't find the room in the deck to play. Now, three. how did how did the uh, like the ratio here work up? Where would you draw like? two of these and then keep on drawing into these or draw one of these and no the other i one never one. had that issue if i ever have that issue where i have both pegasus and a terraforming i can set a terraforming in the back row to bluff my opponent to think it's a trap that's true uh then i played two of the magic specter cyclones this is probably the weakest card in the deck but since they're so small yeah i mean it's really good if you're not playing in the mirror if you're like Against, like, Infernoids, it's not very good. I'm literally playing this card because, like, the deck needs to play the spell, and it's quick play. So, like, the uh, Magic Specter Storm, I think it's too slow of a card. If it said Banish one card, that would have been, like, yeah, crazy. Really good. <laughs> uh, then I played Triple Way Ring Eyes. This card is amazing. It's, like, the best card on the deck. Um, if you can out your opponent's, like, 
wavering eyes with damage juggler and then have your own wavering eyes or chain your wavering eyes to their wavering eyes. It's just, it resolves. So, so how, well. uh, quick question. Yeah. How well, because I mean, this is kind of like a tech card. Is it, or, or do you think that most decks, like most... Uh, I think most pendulum decks are going to play three of this. So you think like, you know, okay, so this is like something that everyone's been doing. Yeah. Because like I, when I saw this in the main, I was just curious just because like it, there was just so... Like, you know, there wasn't... Like, I saw a lot of coons here today, yeah. so... I, um, resolved this card. Every time I resolved this card, it was literally a blowout. Um, in my feature... One of my feature matches, I... Wavering eyes for four. Cleared my opponent's field. I got to banish a card on his side of the field. Cleared his field. He had one card in his hand. He top-decked a pendulum scale. And he ended up going off from that. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, then I'm gonna play some traps. I play one tornado. Um, this card is pretty techy at the moment. It's not like super broken at the moment, but I think uh, you still play one of them just because it can catch opponents off guard. Then I play two of the Magic Spectre Tempest. I know it's not three. Um, I'm testing two. Two is working out fine because of the way my side deck works. And uh, it's terrible in the mirror. <laughs> it's really bad in the mirror. It's literally like a horn of heaven, basically, in the mirror match. Um, then I play one emptiness, one warning. Two storming mirror forces. Um, How did the two storming mirror they forces? They were really good. Uh, were you expect like when you played this card, or like when you decided on two? What were you expecting the most, like for that to actually hit? Um, it will like it hits the magic specters. Like if you, in the mirror match, this card is just really good. It hits because like, it doesn't target or destroy. It doesn't target or destroy, and like uh, against infernoids, they try to make like if they flood their field with monsters and try to swing, it just puts them all back and makes them do everything again. And also, if BA is still relevant, which I think it still yeah. can be. If it, in BA, if that happens, then, like, just put you back know. the Dante. Yeah, like, it, it's, it seems like a very good... It's a blowout card for BA. Yeah. But for Magic Spectres, like, if they pull off the Wombo combo, which is, like, Totem Bird, um, Totem Bird, Pleiades, and probably, you know, Raccoon. Yeah, it's, it's really it's, good. Yeah. That's how it works. Um, I'm going to move on to my side deck. Um... My side deck's a little bit incomplete. At Actually, the start with the uh, extra deck. Start with the extra deck? Yeah, Okay. because then the side deck. Okay, that's fine. Um, so for the side deck, I'm playing two uh, Ignister, Pendulum, the Blackstein Drago Slayer. Uh, this card's a blowout in the mirror. Uh, you, could, you could pop your opponent's Pendulum monsters and spend one of their cards back to the deck. Um, it also gives you... Um, the free luster pendulum from the deck to use as effect, so that's really good. Yeah, and the fact that uh, it does not target. Then I play one totem bird. Uh, I don't really like to overlay a lot, um, but when I do, like, it's totem usually bird, the wombo. It's card. like the insurance card. Like, if I have three of the level threes, or if I have like two of the level threes, I'll make totem bird just in case my opponent has the one of card that can just stop my play. Uh, then I play Rhapsody and Berserk, Banishes Graveyards, uh, Castell. Dweller, uh, Trapeze Magician. He's really good for OTKs. Um, one Emerald. I didn't make him very much, but uh, he's he's, he's there, there because when I make your overlays. monsters can definitely hit the grave. There's a potential due yeah, to the overlay. When I overlay it, that's what. And happens. also, you can get your uh, you can get any of these back at all. Like you know, yeah, it helps um, in the end. Then I play one Lightning Chidori. Uh, making this card is really good with two Magic Specters, just because you can spin their back row and then you can. Yeah, you, one of their, yeah. you neg your opponent. You basically just neg your opponent. You can spend their like um, their scale. Like you can't hit the monsters in the mirror, but you can hit the scale, which is good. Uh, then I play one uh, Magister Paladin. Uh, now, how did that work? Because I saw you play. I think I saw you play this earlier, and uh, being able to add like you know, if we had this back in clip format, like that would be crazy. <laughs> yeah. So at the end phase, he lets me search a uh, pendulum monster of my choice. It doesn't matter. Um, but there's a wombo combo with him and Ignister. If you make, if you have three pendulum level four pendulum monsters on the field, you and one of them is Luster Pendulum. You make Ignister. Um, hold on. Uh, yeah, you make Ignister, and then you activate Ignister's effect to bring out a scale. Then you overlay with the other pendulum monster for him, and then the Ignister or the the Draco Slayer that you used for this can special summon him. So you can literally have. This, this, and a Draco Slayer on the field. All three. Wow. So, yeah. Um, Wombo combos for days. Where's that? There. Okay. Um, then I play... For your rank fives. Um, I play... Oh. Oh, okay. Del There we go. I play, also play Alchemic Magician. Um, this card is pretty good tech. Uh, it lets me actually set Wavering Eyes for my deck during the end phase. 
So if uh, I'm in a mirror match and I really need wavering eyes, I can just like make this, puts wavering eyes down for me. Wow. That's um, actually really good. Then I play um, the uh, Teller Knight Ptolemaeus. Um, He's basically good. He used father. to make the. <laughs> yeah. He uh, he basically makes Pleiades and Diamond. Um, yeah, and he made this in the future too. Yeah, I made the I made this like once today. It was really good too. And then I played Deltaros as an over underlay for for the uh, for uh, Ptolemaeus. So yeah, that's the extra deck. Now for the side deck. Okay. Okay, um, like I said before, the side deck isn't, like, the best side deck in the world. I'm still working it's on it. It's set up for locals. It's slightly, yeah. Um, so I play Double Max C. Um, it's really good against Pepe. Like, if you just play this, they're either going to stop or you're going to have, like, five cards in your hand. Uh, I play one Time Space Trap Hole. Um, I don't know how I feel about this card. I only have the one because I can only find one. But, um... It's really good in the mirror It's match. really good, but at the same time, I don't know if it's worth the cost for life points when you pendulum summon five, pay 5,000. Because by the time you play this card, it might either, you either see it really good early game, it's good early game, but mid to late game, I don't know about it. How did it work out today? Did you ever play it? Um, I signed it in once, and I never saw it. Um, so it's probably going to be a potential cut. Yeah. Uh, then I play Triple Mind Crush. This card is absolutely amazing. Um, especially in the mirror match, you just, as soon as they search, you call whatever, or if you know anything in their hand at all, you just mind crush. The fact that having double on, on board is it's just stupid. so good, yeah. Um, then I side triple MST, um, triple Iron Wall. For Infernoids and uh, for Cosmos. For Infernoids and Cosmos. This is just a blowout card to them. Um, then my last card is I side Triple Horn of Heaven. I thought you made that. Um, this card is the reason why I only play two Tempest. It literally, in the mirror match, acts as Tempest, but it's not specific to Magic Specters. So if I have any monster in this, it literally just becomes Tempest. So yeah, that's it. So uh, going back to uh, explaining like your matchups today, because I mean you played in the morning tournament here at Plus One Gaming, yeah, and you played in the nighttime tournament. How did you do in the uh, Morning tournament. Uh, in the morning tournament, I I actually. What decks did you play against? Let's start that off. Um, Round one through and up. Well, I played against uh, Gradles today. I played against like um, my only relevant matchups. I didn't play any uh, Cosmos today, but uh, I played in the mirror twice today. Um, and how did you do in the mirror? I think I did really good. Uh, the key in the mirror. The key <laughs> in the mirror is to like. Um, have Wavering Eyes and Damage Juggler, I think. I think those two cards make it really... Like, really make good. The, make it's... the mirror match really dependent on who wins the match. Because the mirror match is difficult when you can't, like, get over an 1800 cat without, like, turning off your back row. So... Yeah, because you'd have to crash. Yeah, so basically you're wanting to push for, like, the Ignister play or the Luster Pendulum play. The, uh... Perform Age Engine really helps with that. So. Now, what about the other matchups that you had today? Um, round one, I played in the mirror. I lost in the mirror. I kind of bricked game three. He beat me. Um, but after that, at night, or at the night tournament, I played. I went undefeated all the way up. What was the star matches that you thought were, like, really good for this for this format? Because I know me and you played in round one, and you bricked, and I was playing Noids. Yeah. But, like, you know, what decks that you think, like, you know... Like, um, that you I think today. I think that the the best decks I think like right now are like I think Infernoids are like a secret good deck. I think uh, this deck is a good deck. I think Cosmos are a good deck. Um, if you just know how to outplay your opponent, you can really just blow them out with this deck because they just like don't they can't out Tempest. Tempest is just a really hard card to get to out. So. Yeah, the fact that you have to play wiretap. And <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, if like your opponent's playing wiretap, then they're gonna wiretap like. And face that's decree. Fine. That's like yeah, the uh, that, decree's really good. Yeah, too. because yeah, I saw that in you and uh, Ivan's features. Yeah, I, he uh, decreed me. I mind crushed him for a damage juggler, or no, for a gigabyte, and I saw he had decree in his hand, and he set the decree. I didn't have any back row, but like in my hand, I had Archfiend Eccentric. So if anything were to like happen, I had that Archfiend Eccentric just in case. So. All right. So uh, anything? Any last things you want to say before we end the video? Mm, no, not really. Other than Hashtag that. Team Plus One. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Thanks, Michael Drake. All right. Bye-bye.